Trial courts are generally given broad discretion to decide pretrial issues, such as whether to allow a party to amend a pleading. Consequently, appellate courts will usually defer to a trial court's discretionary rulings on these types of issues. In Beak v. Aquaslide and Dive Corporation, the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit considered whether a district court abused its discretion in permitting the defendant to amend an answer prior to trial. In July 1972, Jerry Beak was injured while using a water slide purportedly manufactured by Aquaslide and Dive Corporation during a social gathering hosted by his employer, Harker Wholesale Meats. Both the premises and the pool where Beak was injured were owned by the Kimberly Village Homes Association. Following the incident, insurance representatives of Harker Meats, Kimberly Village, and Aquaslide all conducted investigations as to the cause of injury. All three investigations found that Aquaslide manufactured the water slide in question. In October 1973, Beak sued Aquaslide in district court based on theories of negligence, products liability, and implied warranty. Two months later, Aquaslide answered the complaint, admitting that it designed, manufactured, assembled, and sold the slide in question. However, in February 1975, during the course of litigation, the president of Aquaslide inspected the slide prior to a deposition and determined that it wasn't manufactured by Aquaslide. Subsequently, Aquaslide moved the district court for leave or permission to amend its answer to deny that it was the slide's manufacturer. Beak objected, arguing that such an amendment would prejudice him and destroy his chances at recovery because the statute of limitations on his personal injury claim had expired. The district court disagreed and granted Aquaslide leave to amend, concluding that neither bad faith by Aquaslide nor prejudice to Beak was compelling enough to deny the amendment. Beak appealed to the Eighth Circuit.